House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is holding on to the articles of impeachment instead of sending them over to the Senate to begin the formal impeachment trial. As Sarah Murray reports, Speaker Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell are now at a stalemate as Congress goes on holiday break. President Trump's impeachment trial may be officially stalled, but behind the scenes, House Democrats are getting ready. Staff for the key House committees are expected to work over the holiday recess, consulting with Democratic leadership and prepping for a trial as early as the week of January 6th. But that depends on House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who says she won't send the articles of impeachment to the Senate until parameters for a Senate trial are set. When they wrote the Constitution, uh, they suspected that there could be a rogue president. I don't think they suspected that we could have a rogue president and a rogue leader in the Senate at the same time. In the Senate, Majority Leader Mitch McConnell this afternoon arranged for White House staff to get a lay of the land in the chamber after failing to cut a deal Thursday with Minority Leader Chuck Schumer on the rules for a trial. We remain at an impasse. McConnell argued rules from previous impeachments should suffice. I continue to believe that the unanimous bipartisan precedent that was good enough for President Clinton ought to be good enough for President Trump. Fair is fair. While Schumer pushed for an agreement to include testimony from witnesses, such as former National Security Advisor John Bolton and Acting Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney. Leader McConnell is plotting the most rushed, least thorough, and most unfair impeachment trial in modern history. The standoff means lawmakers are leaving Washington with the status of an impeachment trial in limbo until the new year. But if Pelosi's power play was meant to unnerve McConnell, he insists it's backfiring. Other House Democrats seem to be suggesting they'd prefer never to transmit the articles. Fine with me.